Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Vicky here with a new art journal layout today. I will be working on my 6x6 disc bound journal and as you can see this is completely full so I'm going to create quickly a new one. I am going to create a new one using uh, mixed media paper which is the exact same paper as the one in the Ranger Dilutions art journal. And you can make your uh, disc bound journal as big as you like. I am going with a 6x6 size here. So I will cut out enough pages, about 10 to 6x6. And then I am going to use my punch to do the holes. I am using a punch from the Happy Planner collection. It makes uh, the holes really easy, but you have to punch one page at a time. So I will repeat the same process until I have enough pages and then again use some rings. Now for that, there are so many different options in the market. There are plastic ones, big and smaller ones, there are metallic ones in all sizes and uh, colors. I will go with uh, these ones which are metallics and black. You will find links to everything I'm using down below, by the way. You can see it is very easy to put everything together. The discs that I'm using here are quite small, but uh, that's the joy of uh, using a disc bound journal. If I get quite bulky with my pages, I can always switch the discs into bigger ones. I'm working on my background now, so I'm going to apply three different colors of Distress Oxide Ink on my craft mat. So I'm working with Broken China, Stormy Sky and Vintage Photo, and I'm also going to apply water. Now I can uh, put on top my page and just dab there to have a first layer of color. Before I go ahead and um, add more color, I'm going to make sure that this first layer is completely dry. Now I'm going to add a little bit more from the mat and I'm also going to add even more color. Again doing the exact same thing, applying some water on top and then smoothing the paper. And I can uh, repeat the same process until I'm happy with the outcome. Now at this stage I'm happy with all that uh, visual texture that I got at my background and I'm going over it directly with a blending tool and the colors that I used for the background. I'm not introducing any new colors as I don't want to turn my background into looking too busy. On the edges I'm going with vintage photo as I always like to have darker edges. I feel like uh, it frames my uh, project somehow and it makes it look more uh, uh, finished. And I'm also going to add a little bit of black suit to darken them up even more. And now I'm going to move on and do some uh, favorite techniques that I always do in my backgrounds. One of them is stamping. I'm using a text stamp here, which is quite uh, versatile and you can use it again and again on uh, pretty much any project. And another favorite technique that I like to do lately is to use some uh, stamps and go all around the edges and stamp uh, the edges with uh, black archival ink. So now I'm using uh, one of the stamp sets that I have been using again and again. I find this is uh, one of my most uh, used stamp sets in my art journals. This is the Etc. from uh, the Tim Holtz collection. I don't pay too much attention on what I'm stamping. I just want to have a darker frame all around the edges. And another technique that I always do on my backgrounds is to add some splashes. So here I have diluted some white paint as well as some black paint. And I'm going to do the splashes all over the background, black and white. And uh, since I like to play with different mediums, I'm going to add even more texture on my background by adding some uh, embossing paste. I'm using black embossing paste here and uh, Tim Holtz stencil. And I'm going to make sure that I add this in uh, three different areas. I always like to work in uh, visual triangles. And I'm going to leave this to dry. And as my background is drying, I can uh, work on my focal points. I will be using dyes from C6 and uh, this is the Cityscape Suburbia die set. I had this die set for a long time and I haven't used it, so it was time to break it open and have some fun. So as you can see, I used my Big Shot to cut out all those different elements using the dies, and I actually used mixed media paper to cut them all. 
and I'm using my finger dabbers and distress oxide inks to color all the little pieces. Of course, you can uh, use uh, colored cardstock to cut out everything, or you can even use your markers or uh, any other coloring medium to add color to those pieces. If you love paper piecing, you will have lots of fun with this uh, die set. Here I'm using a glue pen to put everything together, like the tree trunk and uh, the tree, the roofs on the buildings, the windows, and so on. I'm using this uh, piece of uh, corrugated cardstock, which is from uh, a Tim Holtz collection. It is actually self-adhesive, and I'm going to tear a piece. This is going to provide a kind of a ground so that my buildings can, uh, can stand on top of it and they are not just flying on my page. Since I'm not working on a book with a hinge, I can add as much dimension as I like. And uh, I'm adding some foam tape at the back of this piece of uh, cardstock. This way I am adding some dimension and now I can place the buildings on top. Some of the buildings will go uh, directly on top of my background with glue, while on others I'm going to add some foam squares at the back to add dimension. This way I will give the illusion of, have, of uh, having some of the buildings at the front while others are at the back. Now as always you will find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using today down below in the description area as well as on my blog. And if you love my art journal videos, this week is uh, lots of fun. Make sure to visit Simon Says Stamp blog tomorrow for one more art journal video as I am a guest designer there. And I am going to make sure that I will post one more page by the end of the week. I get so many requests on new art journal videos, so this week you will get three of them. Now I'm going to embellish my page a little bit more by adding some uh, strips of design tape by Tim Holtz. I have many of those rolls and I promised myself that I will start using it more and more. So I'm just combining different uh, widths and designs, but making sure that I stick on uh, the colors that I already have on my pages. And I always like to add a quote on my pages, so this one comes from the Cheap Quotes by Tim Holtz. Of course, you can always write down whatever you like or stamp it. I decided to go with uh, one of those quotes, so since in one of those packages you get so many, and I promised myself to use them more. And here is the finished page. I am going to put it back on my new disc-bound journal. And here are some close-up photos on the project that I made for today. I hope you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, because this is the way to tell me that you like my videos and you want to see more. Thank you all so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.